I am Dr. D. K. Pratyar, Professor of Mechanical Engineering Department, IIT Kharagpur. I am going to teach the course on traditional and non-traditional optimization tools. I welcome you all to this course. Introduction to the course. To start with, let me give you the definition of the term optimization. In other words, let me try to answer what do you mean by optimization. Now, optimization is the process of selecting the best solution out of all feasible ones. Now, supposing that we have got a large number of feasible solutions and we will have to select the best one. Let me take one example. Now, for this course, I have been given 20 hours lecture. Now, in 20 hours, I will have to teach this course. Now, there are several ways in which I can teach this particular course and out of all feasible ways, I will have to select the best one, so that I can give you the maximum in 20 hours. Now, this is nothing but the task of optimization. Now, my next question is why do you need optimization? Now, let us suppose that you are going to start one manufacturing unit. Now, if you want to start the unit, you will have to carry out some sort of market survey, you will have to see the market. Now, today's market is dynamic and competitive and if you want to be in competition, so you will have to carry out the market survey and to ensure that your product can reach that popularity, what you will have to do is you will have to design some cost effective and efficient products. Now, how to, how to get that particular information? To get this particular information, you will have to use the principle of optimization. So, optimization is very important. Now, uh, if you see the current literature, we have got a large number of traditional tools and non-traditional tools for optimization. Now, let me concentrate for the time being on the traditional tools for optimization. Now, these traditional tools for optimization can be classified into two subgroups. Now, the first one is called the direct search method and the second one is the gradient based methods. Now, a direct search method works based on the, the information of the numerical value of objective function. On the other hand, the search direction of a gradient based method is, is controlled by the gradient information of the, the objective function. Now, each of these traditional tools is suitable to solve a particular type of problem, but what we need is a more robust tool which can tackle various types of optimization problems and there is a need for the robust optimization tools. Now, to get the robust optimization tools, some non-traditional tools for optimization have been proposed and to develop the non-traditional tools for optimization, we try to copy everything from the, the nature. And if you see the literature, we have got a few non-traditional tools for optimization. Now, in this course, I will be discussing the working principle of traditional and non-traditional optimization tools with some numerical examples. Now, this particular course will deal with both single and multiple variables optimization problems. Both single and multi-objective optimization problems will be discussed in detail with suitable examples in this particular course. Now, let me, let me mention that there is no prerequisite for this particular course. Now, this course will be useful to UG and PG students 
researchers belonging to various disciplines of engineering science, general science, arts, commerce and of course, it will be uh, uh, useful to the, the practicing engineers. Now, regarding the text and the reference books, the first one that is your the soft computing fundamentals and applications by D K Pratyar will be the textbook for this particular course and there are two reference books. The first one is optimization theory and applications by S S Rao and the second one genetic algorithm in search optimization and machine learning by D Goldberg. Now, this course will be very much helpful if you are going to design and develop new optimization tools or if you are going to further modify the existing optimization tools or if you are going to solve some very complex real world optimization problems. Now, if you attend this course, you will be getting the course material in the form of slides and there will be 8 assignments. Now, I am going to introduce my 2 TAs which are going to help you in this particular course along with me. The TAs are Mr. Amit Kumar Das and Mr. Soikat Sahu. So, they are going to help you along with me in this particular course. Now, if you have any doubt, you are free to ask us, we will try our level best to help you to clear your doubts and I hope all of you will enjoy this particular the course. Thank you.